Hi, this is Chris Armstrong from Regal Technologies, back with Patrick Andre from Andre Consulting. Hello. And we're going to talk today about some conducted emissions measurements and really some debugging techniques to help engineers separate uh, the source of the problem. So let's take a look. Okay, what we have here is um, a uh, protoboard that we're measuring conducted emissions on. I've cut into the, uh, the cable here to do a, a current measurement on just the 5 volt power line. What I've done is I've set up a spectra analyzer from 0 to 1 megahertz. And we see that we have a pretty high spike here. And if I do a peak search, I can find that spike's at six, uh, 647.5 kilohertz. But the problem is, is I don't know whether that's coming from the power supply or from the proto board. Exactly. So one thing we can do is we can use this linear power supply as a replacement for this. So what I will do first is I'm going to take the trace and I'm going to turn off the update so that I can hold on to what I've got there. Excellent. I can then remove the power and plug in this other power source. And you see immediately that we have dropped that emissions a great deal, meaning that the source of that particular emission was not from the protoboard that we're working on, but rather from the power source. And that's the value of using something like a nice, clean, linear power supply like this. Great. So where are these other harmonics coming from then? Well, that's a great question. So let me turn this update back on here, and we can take a look at what some of this is coming from. And the one easy way for us to do that is to just span out using the actual display itself. OK, so now we're, we're, we can see some of these, these frequencies are spaced. And as it turns out, they're about 10 kilohertz apart. And what I have found out is that there is a 10 kilohertz clock on this protoboard. Oh. So now we know the source of what that emissions are. And we can attack that directly with our clean power source and a known, uh, a known source of emissions. All right, so uh, filtering or other techniques to get rid of the 10 kilohertz if it's a problem. Yeah. And then we can uh, just make sure we have a good power supply that's not emitting in the range that bothers us. Correct. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome.